I want to talk to you about bell peppers, but let me show you something first. In this video, I will share which color bell pepper is the healthiest and how to pick a perfect pepper. Try saying that three times. You and I will also take a field trip to Food and Thought, which I feel is like the parent company to Seed to Table. And that is also where the pepper plant in our garden came from. But let's start with a walkthrough of what is in our temporary garden. Yes, it's a temporary garden because we haven't yet cleared where our real garden is going. We have a few things. These are, what do you call those? Pigeon peas that are growing like crazy. We have some sugarcane back there. We have some okra, little baby okra right there. Some more growing right here. Some little baby okras. What else do we have here? We have yucca growing right there. So this is just part of what we have going on. This is not where our garden is going to be, but this is what we have going on right now. So like when these dry out like this, we can use them for planting. And these are all organic things. So hold on. Terry, what's this tree right here? Hello. What is this tree right here? Soursop. This is a soursop tree right there. Lemongrass okay, right here. Mm, oh, wow. Avocado. Tomatoes. We have so many tomatoes. We're ending the season of tomatoes. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Mm. What is this? Holy basil. I think. Okay. This is a peppermint. Mm, smells so good. Mm -hmm. That's peppermint over there too. Um, what is this, Terry? So we have them like potted. A lot of things potted. Not in the ground yet. What is this right now, Terry? What is this? We'll be talking about this in a second. But what is this? Tile? It's like a, a root, right? I don't know. What do we have here? I have to smell it. Um, I don't know. We have a lot of things going on here. Mango tree. Um, what is this vine that's growing up? What is that again? Passion fruit. Um, this is passion fruit. Mango. Like a citrus tree. Not sure. You see those porky, pokey things there? This is the one that we showed in the group, My Green and Pastor Utopia, that had the, um, the, disease. the disease on it. We later found out they were called scallops, right? Mm -hmm. Something like that. And it's not good for the plant. More mango trees. Taking the life out of it. And what is this again? A uh, sour sugar, what sugar is apple. Sugar apple. More mango. I'm going for it. Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. This right here is another mango tree that we were just gifted. What is this right here, Terry? Kenipa. Kenipa. So this is just a start of what we have going on. And um, we have, of course, the coconut trees. Oh, hold on. Coconut tree that has some sugar cane next to it. But we have a whole line of coconut trees. Like they go all the way back. Terry's truck and trailers. What'd you say, Terry? It got hit. By truck. It, got hit. it just got hit. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like when people, it, it hit the truck. Mm -hmm. No, I think you hit it. Okay, so this is like on the side of our driveway. We have more coconut trees. A big, oh, just leave them for now. A big, um, como el a tuf. How do you say that? A tooth cut. How do you say that in English? It's like a little patch, a bush, a bush, a bush of sugar cane. So these are all sugar cane. They're like growing. What else do we have? More coconut trees, more coconut trees, more coconut trees, coconut tree, coconut tree, a mango that we won't talk about how that grew there. If you're friends with my husband, you ask him how that tree ended up there randomly. Don't come in my video. Get out of my video. I'm trying to. This is a vlog. No, nobody's listening to you. Oh, my goodness. Oh, nobody's listening to you. You sneak behind the car and eat the mango and then throw the seed over there to hide it so people don't see that you eat it. Did you hear that? So what had happened was, um, I was trying to sneak and eat a mango, but I was trying to eat it fast so they wouldn't see me eating it, right? So I was like hurrying, and hurrying, and eating. So then when I saw them coming, I just threw it when I was done. And then it just grew. And everybody's like, who planted that there? And I'm like, who would do that? Anywho. I wanted to take some time to show you our bell, pe bell pepper, is it a tree or a bush? Bell pepper tree here. And we have a bell pepper here. I'm going to, in a few minutes here, tell you more about bell pepper. Which one is new, more nutritious, the green or like this one is about to turn here. You see it's turning colors there. Which one is more beneficial? We have another one growing right here. So if you come closer, you'll be able to see. I'm not sure if you're able to see that, but this is a green bell pepper, but it's slowly changing colors. I'm going to explain to you, I'm gonna enter here in a second, which one's more beneficial, why you want to be. And I'm gonna to go to one of my favorite stores to be able to do it. Also, I wanna give a special, special thanks to Miss Tina and Uncle Joe. And I'll insert a little clip of them as well, bringing it over and how excited we were about that. So see you in a little bit. So Uncle Joe and Aunt Tina are moving away. <laughs> I, had to, I had to add that part to it. But look at all this good stuff they brought for us. 
to grow on my greener pasture. Woo! Yeah. Excited. Good organic soil. Mm-hmm. We love you guys. We love you too. Already have some tomatoes going, and I saw a pepper. Yeah. A pepper. Wow. Are you all excited? Yeah. Yes. So where's the tomato? Right there. There's a bunch of them. See them? They're starting to grow. Uh, you see that? Maybe. This um, bell pepper was started by go. Alfie, yeah. so I got it at seed to table because oh. that's organic. Thank you for tuning in. I am going to make this really quick and simple because we are here at Food and Thought, one of the one of my favorite health food stores here in Southwest Florida, here in Naples, Florida. So earlier today, I put out a post, and I'll go ahead and post it here. I put out a post where I was asking you which pepper is healthier, and I had two peppers in my hand. I had the red and the green. Some of you got fancy and started talking about the yellow and the oranges, and that picture was actually taken here in Food and Thought. So I figured why not come back here and answer the question, which variety is the healthiest one? And if you stay tuned, I'll explain to you which variety is the healthiest, and I'll actually tell you which one of these has 11 times more cancer-fighting beta carotene. So just stay tuned really quickly. And I'm trying to be mindful of people that are shopping because it is a very busy shopping time right now. So. Before we get into which one is the healthiest, I also wanted to touch on and note, how do you pick the right pepper? Pick the perfect pepper. <laughs> so say that three times really fast. So some of the things that you should know when you're picking the perfect pepper is you want to make sure that the pepper is firm and um, to make sure that there's not, they, they can have some lumps and bumps because they're, it's natural, but you wanna make sure that there aren't any dark spots and Food and Thought makes a point of checking their um, produce to make sure of these things. And where the stem is here, you want to make sure that it's not too soft because then that means that it is uh, more ripe or it could be in the phase of going bad. Like I told you, they're really good about making sure that their produce is really good here. So the other thing is that, understand that the greener variety they have a longer shelf life, so to speak, they last longer than the red variety. And that's a hint to answer which color is the healthiest. So the greener ones are not as ripe as the red or redder ones. And I know that earlier when I put out that post, some of you were saying that you like to snack on these. And I find that the redder ones are um, sweeter. So they have a sweeter taste than the greener ones, so it makes it easier for you to snack on. So. When I asked the question, I had a green and a red in my hand, but some of you turn, um, also put in the yellows and the oranges. And if you think about like eating the rainbow, it's great. I want you to be able to eat all of these things because they're high in iron, high in, I'm being mindful of people around me, high in iron, vitamin B, fiber. So when you say that you want to snack on something, this is a good healthy snack and fibers help you feel full and they're good for your digestion. It has lycopene, which is a known, uh, it's known to help with lowering cancer. So that's very good. Cancers like prostate cancer, bladder cancer, cervical cancer, pancreatic cancer. So it's good to incorporate these, whatever color it is, it's good to give it incorporated. But you're really here to figure out between between the green and the red, which one is healthier. So I already hinted that this is the this is not as ripe as this one. So when you're choosing between which ones, know that this one is not as ripe. And because it's not as ripe, it doesn't have all the things. But when we're looking at the red compared to the orange or the yellows, which some of you all explain, I want you to also understand that. A whole cup of a red has 39 more vitamin C's than the orange. So there you show that the reds are more nutritionally dense than the orange. Now when it comes to the green, I want you, this is that answer that you were asked looking for. The reds have 11 times more cancer fighting beta carotene. So it's very important for you to be able to know this when you're choosing. And I said that I was going to make this really short and sweet and I'm trying to be mindful of everybody that is shopping. So that's really what I wanted to be able to share with you. If you're here in Southwest Florida, come check out Food and Thought for all your produce needs. They're really good about making sure, like I was telling you, that the best quality produce is here and um, they're here to help you with picking and all those things. So I hope this video was of value to you and that you use this information you snack on whatever color you preference you can snack on them because they're so rich either way in vitamins but just know that the red is the winner winner a little bonus that I just talked to somebody about and I wanted to go ahead and mention if you're eating these raw you know that you're getting the most oh look at that they keep them fresh with the sprinklers and stuff. if you're eating these raw you know that you are getting the most vitamins out of them and I know a lot of, I'm not I'm not pushing you to be raw vegan or all this stuff but I'm just letting you know they have more vitamins Here's another video we feel you'll love, how to wash your veggies and fruits with something that is toxin free, as well as other homesteading things that we're doing on the property. And we thank you for watching. Don't forget to comment, give us a thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on your notification bell so you can know when we post our next video. 
remember, reward yourself every day by making greener lifestyle choices.